technology and what happens with technology is always advancing so much that after a certain period of time your laptop might seem kind of useless so um, this video is to help you um, actually upgrade your Mac um, if you go to upgrade this uh, Macintosh like this a MacBook Pro you're, you're maybe looking to spend a couple of five six hundred dollars if you go to that Apple store and get an upgrade but it, at the same time if you go buy another one you're talking about around maybe a thousand five hundred to two thousand dollars are kind of expensive so you can't just be switching in and out of of your Macs like that so mine is kind of uh, starting to get you know kind of sluggish and, and out of date so you when you're into technology you always want to be ahead of the curve and you always want the new gadgets and new stuff so this video is to actually help you soup up your or hook up or pimp your computer out so you don't have to spend all that money and it's very easy um, we're actually going to um, use a couple of things. One thing we're going to, right now my Mac is running with uh, 8 gigs of RAM. So I'm actually going to put two sticks of 8 gigs to boost it up to 16 gigs of RAM. So you can go to most RAM uh, websites and put in your uh, model and serial, uh, model of, your, of the laptop you have or um, and it will tell you what's the highest you can upgrade your computer to. So mine actually could go up to 16 gigs of RAM, so that's what we're gonna put. The other thing we're gonna use is this enclosure for a hard drive. So uh, I'm gonna change the hard drive right now. It has a half of a terabyte, which is 500 gigs of, of memory. We're gonna go to a, a one terabyte, and this is a hybrid, meaning it has uh, both uh, solid state and disk drive. So it, it'll boost up the performance of my, of my computer a whole lot because the operating system will be on the solid state and most of the information will be recorded on the disk so that will boost my performance so this um, hard drive only cost me uh, I think it was 89 bucks and these two sticks of RAM were a hundred dollars and this was like five bucks so right here you're looking at two hundred dollars and I'm going to teach you how to clone the existing hard drive to this hard drive so you can just swap it really easy and uh, I'm going to teach you how to change the RAM. The RAM is so simple, just snap it in like you would snap in an old uh, Nintendo or Super Nintendo cartridge. So why pay Apple uh, $500 to do this upgrade? Um, the reason we got an enclosure is for that so we can back up and clone the hard drive to this hard drive. And the hard drive that we have in here, we're going to leave it in here and we're going to have a 500 gig external hard drive. So it's very useful to, you know, five bucks and it's, like I said, very useful. So, um, so first, first of all, I'm gonna um, show you how to clone the hard drive. So, first thing I did, I used my Batarang to open up the, the box that was holding my hard drive. And this is the enclosure. The enclosure I, I purchased, like I said, cost five bucks, and it comes with the, the enclosure and the USB cable that it needs to connect to the computer. So we're gonna get the hard drive, and we're gonna put it in the enclosure real quick. So every enclosure is different. Mine just slides, the cover just slides right out and it exposes this part. Here's the connector where the hard drive has to go connected to. So we're gonna put the hard drive in the enclosure. And we're just gonna slide her in. There we go, see how it's in place. Now this, right now, it becomes an external hard drive. And we're gonna use this to connect it to the Mac and we're gonna clone the max hard drive to this enclosure. My hard drive ha came with a cable, and when you see a cable that has two USBs, one is for the power, to power the hard drive, and the other one is to actually access the information from the hard drive to send to the computer, vice versa. So you see the, hard, the, the enclosure is reading the hard drive, so I'm gonna show you how to what you, the steps you have to do to, to clone it. So as you can see, um, it recognizes my, my two hard drives now. It sees my Macintosh hard drive and then it has the one terabyte. So this one we wanna, we wanna format it to the new, um, we wanna format it so it can read um, 
the Mac file, so we want to format it for Mac OS. So that's what we're gonna do first. We're gonna okay. Once you format it to your hard drive, you should see it over here. So the way we're gonna clone this, we're gonna use this this application that you can download free, and I'm gonna put the the link on the show notes and on the description. You want to download this this app called Super Duper. So basically, that is that program is gonna help us clone the hard drive, and it's free. So we're gonna run that program right now. Super duper. Explain to us how to do it. So basically we're gonna copy the Macintosh hard drive to our other hard drive right here, which is, is, is labeled untitled. And then we just copy now. It's gonna ask us for our password. So it's asking us, oh, you, you, you're about to race untitled. So and then we're going to put copy because it's going to copy everything. So this is going to take a while because I have a lot of stuff on my hard drive. So we're going to let this happen uh, with the magic of, of, of movie and TV and special effects. We're just going to edit this and we're going we're gonna to let it run. And when I come back, it's, it's when, once the hard drive has been cloned to the, to the new hard drive. As I said, this process takes a long time. If you see mine, actually it takes seven hours and almost 20 minutes. So maybe something you want to do is go through your hard drive and make sure that what you are cloning to the new hard drive is, is files and stuff that you really want. So I, I probably should have erased a couple of things, but so now that we've cloned the hard drives, now we can remove the hard drive from the external case and we're gonna open up the, the, the Mac and, and change the RAM and the hard drive. So what are we gonna do next is we're gonna take these screws out and remove the top now that the hard drive is um, cloned. So what we need for that is a small Phillips screwdriver. Uh, you can find this at the dollar store or any um, Home Depot, they sell these little Phillips head screwdrivers. So uh, we're gonna take all these screws out real quick. So there you go, we uh, removed the cover and that will expose uh, all the stuff that we need here. Um, right here's the hard drive, this is what we're going to change. Um, if you see there's two Phillips screws here, we'll remove this bracket and now give us access to the hard drive. You want to make sure that you keep all your screws so you don't lose them. So put them all in one little spot. That way you don't lose any of your your um, your screws. There we go. Remove the bracket. The bracket here. Uh, this has this little plastic tab so you can remove the hard drive, and it has this little connector. So all you have to do is remove the connector, and that's that's it. We just remove the hard drive. The uh, old existing uh, hard drive that we took out of the Mac. You see these little notches here on each side of the hard drive you see these you have to take these out they have a star screw you have to take them out and put them in the new hard drive so it can secure it in place so we're gonna do that right now we're gonna take those screws and attach them to the new hard drive so we use the, the little star screwdriver that I have you get this at the dollar store and change the tips and you you just um, change this uh, put those uh, little pins on the hard drive and now we uh, connect the, the ribbon connector to the hard drive so we connect up the, the ribbon connector to the hard drive then we want to slide you see these little holes there those pins go inside that hole in those holes and now secure in place and that bracket that we removed before we put it back where it was and we screw it in And now that's gonna keep the hard drive from moving around. If you don't put those pins on the hard drive, the hard drive is just gonna slide in that space and, and create problems. So you really wanna do this 
and see now the hard drive is nice and secure where it's supposed to go. Right, right there. This would have cost you four or five hundred bucks if you took it to the Apple store. Since what we did here, we, we, we swapped out the hard drive. Over here we find the RAM. So that's what we're going to change next. Okay? The way you do this is these little tabs right here. You want to pull them out and look at that. The, the chip pops out for you. So you, all you have to do is take it out. Then same thing here. You do it again. The chip pops right out for you. And you just, um, okay. Just want to pull it out. I use the same little screwdriver that I used before. And that's it. You just pop it right out. And then we pop in the new RAM. Okay, to, to do the RAM, it's very simple. Okay, what you wanna do is you, you make sure that the notch, see the notch right here? Needs to match the notch here. So you just put it in, just like you would pop in a whole NES cartridge, push it all the way in, and just push it down. That's it. We replace the, the RAM. Same thing here. You line it up, push it all the way in, clamp it down, and we just replace the RAM. That would cost you another three or four hundred bucks if you take it to the Mac store. So uh, right now you wanna wanna clean out any dust or anything you see in the fan. Since you have it open, then we just put the cover back on and we'll trace the we put the old screws back in, just how we found it before. So we're all set. Thanks to the magic of editing, we'll, we sped that up so it makes everything easier. So now we're gonna boot her up and see what we got. So there we go. It probably it took a couple minutes, but as you can see, we got all the same icons. Everything is back to the way it was before we started. So after we booted it up, we can see now that we have uh, right here 16 gigs of RAM. So um, so we can see that we got the performance boost on the RAM now. We go to storage. And we have right there, you can see we have the terabyte. And we already used up uh, 600 gigs of it. I mean, we have 600 gigs for free. I mean, freed up still. So we have all this to fill up, boys and girls. So that's a, a easy tutorial on how to clone your hard drive, replace it on your Mac, change the RAM. Right there, we sped up our, our, our computer. You don't need to go buy a new one. You could just upgrade it, hook it up pimp your computer, whatever you want to call it. Um, if you like our, uh, our video, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe, please share so your friends can see it. Uh, I have two sticks of, of four gigabytes now. Uh, the first person that wants it, just comment in the bottom and let us get your information and I'll, I'll mail it out to you. Uh, like I said, two gigs, I mean two sticks of four gigs. So uh, we want to thank everybody for Game Bros. This was Kuko. Uh, living your world, playing ours. Game Bros. Peace.